Hello everyone, it's our Alberto yet again with another video, and today I'm going to show you my entire collection of, from the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection. Now, a little background here, the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection was, um, it was made in October 25th, 1994, with the first ever release of, well the first video release of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and on top of that they would re-release some other titles like Dumbo, Sword in the Stone, Alice in Wonderland, So Dear My Heart, The Three Caballeros, and many more in order to be available to own to the public. And I don't own every single one because what do you expect? I, I got loose change on me, so I'm gonna look at the. F oh, th We're gonna look at the only five releases I have. Two, well, three of which are. The original releases and two of two of the VHS tapes I own are the re-releases. We're gonna go through order. With all that being said, let's get started. All right, this is the original video release of The Lion King. This was released on March third, nineteen ninety-five, and this became one of the best-selling home video titles ever, along with the the original release of Titanic. And in terms of the movie, it's a it's a classic, of course. What do you expect from The Lion King? Um, it became the highest grossing animated film back when it came out in 1994. And it held the record until Finding Nemo took it after nine years of record breaking. Um, I bought this all sealed so it still has the promo materials. I had to change the clan's shell though. Here's the label. And this sold 30 million copies worldwide. And it 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 got two billion dollars from marketing revenue. Print date is February 10th, 1995. And this became and it's a classic, as you would expect. It's from the Disney Renaissance. Now what's for the inserts here? I had to um Stable together the insert, this one here, with the video shopping guide, because, um, the glue is dry, so it kind of sucks. So looking inside, it has an advertisement for the original video release of Aladdin and the King of Thieves, which I, I consider it being the best of the Disney direct video sequels. And like I said, the other masterpiece releases, Dumbo, Storm in the Stone, Alice in Wonderland, and there's even the final Walt Disney Classics releases of The Fox and the Hound. And these are the Walt Disney Family Film Collections, like Davy Crockett, King of the Wall Frontier. I'm, I'm planning on getting that. I heard it was a great movie. And The Love Bug. Angels of the Outfield. I heard that one was good. Says my friends. And some other releases from Walt Disney Home Video and Touch and All, like Sister Act 2. Then we got some Disney Princess Collection tapes. We're heading to the kids section now. Sing along songs. We all know those. And we got some stuff from Winnie the Pooh and Spot. I used to own a Winnie the Pooh tape actually. Disney's favorite stories. Bill Nye the Science Guy. I'm playing up getting those tapes. I used to love Bill Nye. Gargoyles the movie and The Brave Little Toaster. Which I do have a copy of. I really enjoyed the film. It's a childhood favorite. And some tapes on the Muppet since. In my eyes, I think Jim Henson video is actually made by Walt Disney Home Video. I don't know, it's just me. And here's the business reply card. No one written on it, thankfully. Burger King Kids Club advertisement. The Lion King of all Disney World vacations. So now for Disney World. Save over $5 in Pillsbury. Which, this and this one from $5 a rebate for Mattel Toys. And Family Fun subscription. So yeah, this is a really nice promo material. And it only cost me $8, this being brand new. 
But there you have it, the original video release of The Lion King, a milestone in VHS history and in Walt Disney home video history ever. Alright, this is the re-release of Mary Poppins. This was released um, August 26, 1997. Now, Mary Poppins was a masterpiece collection, but they re-released it as a fully restored limited edition release. And, of course, Mary Poppins is a masterpiece. And... This is a very long movie. Um, I gotta see what, how much it's run. And mine does come with the commemorative, commemorative song booklet. And we cannot forget, this is of course THX certified. As you can see. Let's see what's in, let's see what the time running is. 139 minutes. Let's see, it's like over two hours. And the printed on mine is July 20th, July 20th, 1997. And mine does come with the commemorative song booklet. Believe it or not, I found it inside the case. I, I, I am much as surprised as you are, if you're actually surprised. See how there's Walt Disney over there. A spoonful full of sugar. Jolly Holiday. Super Mythical Explanations. I don't know. I, I barely can read. Um, I forgot. Uh, cursive. Free the Birds. I forgot to mention this. These songs were made by the Sherman Brothers. They're fantastic songwriters. Chim Chim Cheersy Cheery. Oh, there we go. And there's a picture of Roy Disney, the nephew of Walt Disney. Yeah, Mary Poppins is a true classic. Possibly the best live-action Disney film Walt ever made. But there you have it. The re-release, Masterpiece Collection release of Mary Poppins. Alright, the original video release of Hercules. This was released February 3rd, 1998. Coming quickly, well, almost as quickly as it was released in theaters. Hercules is another good film. I I would rank it above the the uh, the quality of Mulan, in my opinion. It's a personal favorite of my childhood. Now, what's interesting is when I got on this tape, everything like the label and everything, the whole cassette, like the shell of the tape, was actually didn't have the label on it. So I had to make my own label. And the print day is not on here, unfortunately. But I think it was um, July... No, it was November 28th, 1997. Here's the tape. This is one of the first labels I ever made for a VHS tape. It was actually a lot of fun. Um, I know this film is on Blu-ray, but I don't own a Blu-ray player, sadly. But there you have it. The original video release of Hercules. The original video release of The Black Cauldron. This was released August 4th, 1998. This is the first time the film was ever released on VHS. And what's interesting is that the film, the artwork in here, is actually not paper. Let's take a look. So here it is. Some Chromium FX packaging, apparently. As you can see on the back. So yeah, this is some pretty cool artwork. Believe it or not, The Black Cauldron was barely even released on home video. I mean, I know it was released two times on VHS, and I know there was a DVD that came out around 2010. So, in my opinion, The Black Cauldron, well, I personally enjoy it for what it's trying to be. Like, I know it's definitely flawed between the story and the characters, but I love, I absolutely love, um, what was the guy's name? The villain of the movie, um, the, the Horn King, there we go. He is just one of the most underrated Disney felons ever. I still call it meh, but I still consider it one of the worst Disney films. But I oddly enjoy it. It's a personal favorite. I'll, I'll, I'll give it credit for what it's trying to be. I mean, this is one of the first... The first Disney film to be made by the new animators at the time. 
And the print date is June 17th, 1998. And if, I guess they were getting the DVD since it was fully restored. It was also released as a gold classic collection release. But I decided to get the original release for many reasons. So yeah, the original video release of The Black Cauldron. And finally in my collection, the masterpiece release of Lady and the Tramp, released November 15th, 1998. Another fully restored limited edition, also THX certified. Excuse the bright light there. <clears throat> and Lady of the Tramp's classic. I really enjoyed it. What I find interesting is that the film was actually panned like crazy when it when it was released back in 1957, 1958, I believe it was 1958. And this is in pan and scan. I know darn well it was the first Disney, re the first Disney film to be released in cinema scope. At least what. I believe it was the first ever movie or animated film to be released in CinemaScope. Here's the label. And there's also a widescreen VHS release. I'm, I'm planning on getting that. I know Disney did release some widescreen releases of their animated films. Like, I know darn well, um... They released Beauty and the Beast in a Bug's Life in widescreen on VHS. I'm gonna, I'm actually ordering a Bug's Life later on today, um, but I'm probably gonna get those releases soon. And the print date is August 14th, 1998. So yeah, Lady and Tramp masterpiece in my opinion. But yeah, the masterpiece release of Lady and the Tramp. I'm just gonna add this just for a little VHS update. Like, you did see it in my Three Caballeros and Toy Story unboxing. Like, I absolutely uh, forgot to show this off for an update. This is the second video release of Pinocchio. Released, um, I believe it was March 26, 1993. Um, this was a classics release back in um, July of 1985. But they re-released it and said it was a masterpiece. Even though it says Walt Disney's masterpiece, it opens with the Classics logo. I believe it's the fourth variant. And it's a personal favorite. I freaking love Pinocchio. It's my favorite Disney film of all time. That and um, Toy Story 2, I believe. that. Well, even though that's a Pixar film. Here's the label itself, and as you can see here, there was supposed to be a Sorcerer Mickey right there. As you can see, it's still the leaving remains of the Sorcerer Mickey label. And you can see the little tidbits there. Mine has a lot of printing as well. April 6, 1993. And this is on Blu-ray as part of the Signature Collection, which I do consider getting, getting one day. It's on DVD as well. So yeah, the original second release of Pinocchio. So yeah, that's the, my entire Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection collection. Um, just to let you know, the last release in the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection was The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I'm playing a watch and I heard it was good. But uh, if you consider getting these releases, go to eBay. Um, the Lion King, The Black Cauldron... I got those two on eBay. Hercules I got from Savers. These were um, donations from a family member. Like almost the collection I have, almost all the almost all the collection I got here are actually part of donations. Like except for um, the Brave Little Toaster, um, I got that at a Goodwill. That was my first ever Goodwill I went to. So that was pretty nice. But yeah, that's it for the whole video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and a big shout out to imaxination1980 um who is a youtuber that made that made me shine and make these vhs videos so shout out to him and i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you like comment subscribe to the video and to my channel till then i need gaming ghost toodles